Hello friends. In this video we will learn about how to sort materials into groups based on their properties, physical states of matter and properties of materials. Do you know good chefs work in their kitchen? Some cooks have amazing flow. They can quickly find every gadget in their kitchen, seamlessly move from planning a delicacy, to cook without shuffling everything on their countertop and make their dish in an instant. Sorting the systematic arrangement of things on the basis of certain similarities or differences is called sorting or classification. Similarities help to arrange things in the same group. Differences help us to arrange things into separate groups. An object can be made from different kinds of materials. Example, a bag may be made of cloth, leather, rubber or plastic. A material can be used to make different kinds of things. For example, plastic can be used to make toys, bags, chairs and tables. Some objects are made from more than one type of material. For example, metal, rubber, plastic and other materials are required to make bicycle. There are different materials. We make objects with these materials. But, how do we decide which material to use for making an object? Before finding an answer to this question, let us see what is there inside a material. Matter Everything in this universe is made up of matter. Matter existed on the earth even before the first man existed on the earth even before the first man had appeared on it. We have seen objects around us that are made of different materials. But what are these materials made up of? These materials are made up of matter. In fact, everything around us is made up of matter. The clothes we wear, food we eat, air, water, books, sun, stars and moon are all made up of matter. All these objects have two general properties. They all have mass and occupy space. Different kinds of matter are made up of different substances. They have different physical state, color, shape and smell which can be felt through one or more of our sense organs. Matter is composed of very small particles called atoms. They are building blocks of matter. Look at your pencil lead. It is made of material called graphite which is a form of carbon. The smallest possible piece of carbon that you could break the graphite into would be an atom. So an atom is the smallest individual particle of matter. We cannot see an atom with naked eyes. Atoms combine together, they form molecules. An oxygen molecule is made of two atoms of oxygen. Water molecule is made of two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom. An element is a substance made of same type of atoms. Substances formed from atoms of different kinds are called compounds. There are 118 different elements known so far. 94 of these exist naturally, rest of the elements are synthetic. Hydrogen, Oxygen, Nitrogen, Carbon, Copper, Aluminium, Iron, Gold and Silver are some common elements. Each element is represented by a unique symbol. Compounds formed from different type of atoms. It is represented by formula. For example common salt, NaCl. It is made of elements sodium and chlorine. Why different materials have different properties? Different materials are made of different elements and compounds and have different arrangement of atoms or molecules. Molecules in substance are arranged in a particular manner. They are arranged very closely with very less space between them in some substances. The distance between the molecules of a substance is called intermolecular space. All the molecules are held together by a force of attraction called intermolecular force. These forces can be strong or weak. Properties of materials Have you ever wondered why a cooking utensil is made of a metal and not paper? Here, we have two primary requirements. First, 
the cooking vessel should not catch fire itself. Second, it should provide sufficient heat to the food for cooking. Thus, different properties of materials make them suitable for different uses. All the materials usually look different from each other. For example, wood looks different from glass. In a similar way, silver looks different from paper. The shine present in a material is known as luster. Metals are generally lustrous in nature, whereas non-metals are not. Gold and silver are highly lustrous metals. That is why they are used for making ornaments. Some substances can be compressed, whereas others cannot be. For example, if you try to compress a iron bar, you will not be able to do so. A teddy bear made of cotton and sponge can, however, be easily compressed. The materials that can be compressed are called soft. The materials that cannot be compressed are called hard. When we touch different materials, we find that some are smooth and some are rough. They have different textures. The feel of any material is known as its texture. The surfaces of flower petals and a glass tumbler are even. They have a smooth texture. All the smooth surfaces have no bumps or ridges and have a plain surface. The surfaces of a tree bark, an unfinished wall and sandpaper are uneven. They have a rough texture. We can felt bumps and ridges on the surfaces of rough materials. Some materials allow light to pass through them, whereas others do not. On the basis of amount of light that a material allows to pass through, materials can be divided into three groups. Transparent materials, translucent materials, and opaque materials. Substances that allows light to pass through them completely are called transparent materials. Glass, air, Clear water and some plastics are examples of transparent materials. Substances that allow only a portion of light to pass through them are called translucent materials. Butter paper, tissue paper, thin plastic, frosted glass and ice are examples of translucent materials. Substances that do not allow light to pass through them are called opaque materials. Wood, metal and brick wall are examples of opaque materials. Solubility is the ability of a given substance, the solute, to dissolve in unit volume of solvent. It is measured in terms of the maximum amount of solute dissolved in a solvent at a given temperature. Materials can be grouped on the basis of their solubility in water. Substances such as salt and sugar dissolve in water. Such substances are said to be soluble. Chalk powder or sand settle down in water and do not dissolve even on stirring. They are insoluble in water. Liquids that mix with each other are called miscible liquids. For example milk, honey and vinegar completely mix with water. Liquids that do not mix with each other are called immiscible liquids. For example, mustard oil and kerosene do not mix with water, they form a separate layer. A large number of plants and animals live in water. From where they do they get oxygen for breathing. They obtain it from the oxygen dissolved in water. Another example of a gas dissolved in a liquid is soft drinks. The fizz in a soft drink is because of carbon dioxide gas. If you drop a feather, a wooden block, a steel spoon and an iron nail into water, what happens? You will observe that the feather and wooden block float on water, whereas the iron nail and steel spoon sink in water. This happens because heavier objects sink, whereas lighter objects float. But a wooden block may be bigger and heavier than the tiny iron nail. So, what decides whether an object will float or sink in water? A substance with a density lower than that of water floats on it. Whereas the substance with a density higher than water sinks to the bottom. Density of a substance is defined as mass per unit volume. 
water exists in three different forms water, ice and water vapor. The water we drink is the liquid state of water. When we boil water, it starts changing into water vapor or steam. Steam is the gaseous state of water. When we freeze water, we get ice. Ice is the solid state of water. Most substances exist in these three states, solid, liquid and gas. These are known as the three physical states of matter. In the solid state, particles are tightly packed. Strong attractive forces acts between particles that hold them together. The particles are fixed at their place. Solids have definite shape and volume. Examples, ice, bricks, wood and glass. In the liquid state, particles are less tightly packed than solids. Forces of attraction are not as strong as solid. So, molecules move randomly and constantly change their positions. Liquids have definite volume but not definite shape. Examples, water, milk, juice, petrol and olive oil. In a gas, particles are loosely packed. Forces of attraction between the particles are very weak. Particles move very quickly and constantly change their positions. Gases have neither definite shape nor definite volume. Examples, air, oxygen, nitrogen and carbon dioxide. Metals are good conductors of heat and electricity. Cooking vessels are, therefore, made of metals. Similarly, electric wires are made of metals such as copper and aluminum. Wood and plastic are bad conductors of heat and electricity. Metals are malleable. They can be beaten into thin sheets with a hammer. A piece of aluminum metal turns into a thin sheet, without breaking when we hammer it. Silver and gold are the examples of most malleable metals. Metals are ductile. They can be drawn into thin wires. The property which allows the metals to be drawn into wires is called ductility. Gold and silver are among the best examples of ductile metals. Tungsten metal is used to make the wires of the filaments of electric bulbs.